Pokebabs! Hey guys, welcome back to Pokebabs. Today we are going into round one of the September Poke Beach tournament, and we are playing that Raichu Vespaquin deck. And so let's see what happens here. We're going up against Yogington uh, with a Psychic, Dark, and Colorless deck. Maybe it's um, like a, some sort of speed dark deck. Um, <laughs> my opponent says it looks like Night March. Yeah, we're not Night March, that's for sure. Um, and we do win the coin flip, <clears throat> so we are going to be able to go first, which is great. And uh, let's see what we're going up against. So we start Pikachu and Combi. We're going to definitely start the Pikachu in the active. And we uh, will wait a sec. Let's see what our opponent is playing. And, okay, so they're starting Hoopa, so that's interesting. Uh, we'll put down Unknown. We will uh, Acrobike, and we definitely don't want to put uh, discard the um, DCE this early, so we're going to uh, probably Ultra Ball first, um, and then Attach DCE and Sycamore. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's hard to tell what exactly this deck is. Um, we could go for, we'll just grab another Pikachu, and then that way we could attach the energy to the bench Pikachu. Uh, that's probably a little safer that way than attaching to the active. And we'll Sycamore. Alright, so we do have a Trubbish. Uh, we've got another Pikachu. Um, so we could uh, we could bench the Trubbish, I suppose. Um, don't know what our opponent's playing, though, so it's kind of hard to tell whether or not it's going to be useful. We could... Uh, we're definitely going to want to hold on to this hand, though. Um, up, up not to bench the Trubbish. And let's see what's happening here. Our opponent plays a Trainer's Bell. And maybe we'll figure out exactly what this deck is. Uh, okay, they don't grab anything with Trainer's Mail. Uh, there is potential for us to get a knockout on this Hoopa next turn. We see a Skyla, though. And it does go for an Ultra Ball, so um, something tells me we're probably going to see a Hoopa. And uh, then we'll know... Okay, interesting. So they're playing Team Magma Secret Base, which um, means that we'll, anyone who puts down a Pokemon that's not a Team Magma Pokemon, um, when you put it on your bench, you take 20 damage. Uh, we see a Hoopa here. And what are they going to grab with Hoopa? And it looks like they're going to grab uh, two Alakazam. Okay, so maybe benching the Trubbish would have been a better option. Uh, was not really expecting that. We see a Floatstone go down to the Hoopa and then a Shaman set up for five. So our opponent's getting pretty well set up uh, with this Mega Alakazam deck. <clears throat> and uh, let's see, they do just pass to us. So we are going to be able to put down the Trubbish and a Floatstone, but... It uh, would have been much better if we could have gotten a um, Trubbish this turn. Or if we could have gotten a, a Garbodor this turn and, and stopped them from uh, taking knockouts with the Mega Alakazam. Uh, we are going to just Farewell Letter here. This way we can Ultra Ball for something. Hopefully we don't draw. Ooh, okay. So that's not good. Um, we are going to have to discard two Vespaquin here. And I guess we'll just grab the other Raichu so we can at least attack this turn for sure. Do not like seeing uh, something like that that we can't get back. Um, and we draw another Vespaquin. Draw a bunch of Pokemon. Um, uh, we could... There's a few options here. But since we're going to go for the Garbodor next turn, maybe playing the Unknown now would be good. Um, would free up a bench space as well. Uh, we'll be able to attach energy this turn, and we could um, play the Shaman down at some point, too. So, we've got options here. I think uh, we'll, we should just unknown, though, while we have the chance. Maybe we will be able to find ourselves a supporter for next turn, or a Skyfield. We'd love to see a Skyfield as well. Um, just going to be a Combi, which actually is pretty good. Um, we do want to have that Combi. And uh, we can attach either to a Vespaquin or to the Active, I think probably just attach to the active and then we can um attack unfortunately we won't be able to take a knockout would have been nice to get that sky field but uh we will just hit for 100 and we'll see what our opponent can do here um i believe the first attack i think it's called hyperspace fury and i think it does 20 to 2 bench 
Um, see if they attack this turn with that. We'll see a Virtual Seeker for a Sycamore. And that does mean we are going to be able to get the, the Garbodor out next turn. Um, so that's good. We see a Spirit Link come down. And uh, they're going to Mega Evolve. So they are going to put 20 on the active. And where is the 30 going to go? Um, they could snipe a Combi. Um, it looks like they're going to go after the Trubbish, actually. So now we'll see what happens here. We see a Team Mega Secret Base. Um, and then they play the Shaman down afterwards. So the Shaman does have 20 damage on it, which is nice for us. Um, although we usually take one-hit knockouts on Shamans anyway. And we'll see if they can get an energy attachment this turn. They do, but they attach to the benched Alakazam, which is interesting. Um, now they we see a okay. We see a Devolution Spray, so maybe they'll end their turn with a um, Mega Evolution. Looks like that's what's going to happen. And they do have that Bursting Balloon on the active, which is a which is kind of um, annoying. And they do put thirty on the bench, which means no matter which Raichu we attack with, we will get knocked out. Um, we're gonna just. Uh, evolve the Vespaquin. We will evolve into Garbodor, which means now our Shaman um, unfortunately doesn't work. But uh, we could either take a knockout here or we could just pass. That way we don't get um, the damage from the Bursting Balloon, which would knock us out. Um, and I really don't want to get knocked out that way. Um, yeah, I don't really think that that would be... <laughs> I think that would be very bad. So um, we'll just let the um, we'll just let the bursting balloon pop off and pass the turn, and we see an end from our opponent, which is great because our hand was pretty dead, and this hand's a little better. <clears throat> we do need uh, another energy eventually, but for the moment we're doing okay in that department. And a skyfield would be great. We still would like to get a skyfield. Um, and actually, an interesting thing is that um, that uh, Alakazam is actually only has 160 HP. And we see a Parallel City here, so we are going to have to discard two Pokemon. Um, we could discard the Raichu. It would get more Pokemon. See, I don't want to discard the Vespaquin because we only have two Vespaquin. Or we already have two Vespaquin in the discard, so even though we lose an energy this way... Um, I'd rather maintain having Vespaquin because we do have those two special charges so we can get energy back. And we just see the Hyperspace Fury doing um, 20 to both Vespaquin. And it looks like we're probably going to have to end here. Uh, not, else, not much else we could really do. Um, I guess we could just attack straight in to them, but that doesn't seem particular. I mean, I'd there's some stuff we need to draw into. We do get a Skyfield here, which is great. We're going to be able to um, put down more Pokemon if we want. Uh, although it's not particularly necessary this turn. So I think we'll just hold off for the moment. We'll see what happens. If our opponent does try and snipe the Garbodor, then we would be able to play our Shaman down with though, which would be great. So we'll see what happens here. We see a Mega Alakazam come up. Now... The the hard part about this deck is, although we do have Garbodor to stop them from um, from their, their Alakazam's ability, we unfortunately do not have... Well, I mean, I guess it it's going to be hard to hit that 210 damage for the Mega Alakazam. So, uh, we do get <clears throat> another Skyfield, but no supporter. Uh, thankfully, we did get... They did end us into another energy, though, so we will be able to at least attack... But again, we would have. There is that bursting balloon there. Now, um, the good thing is we're only at 20 HP, so. <clears throat> or, sorry, 20 damage. So a bursting balloon wouldn't be um, too bad. Because uh, we would still survive the turn. Um, the other option is to s do something like a sky return into Garbodor. That way, allowing them to take the knockout on Garbodor, and then we could play the Shaman next turn. <coughs> So let's see how many Pokemon we have in the discard. Um, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 or 9. Um, so, yeah, we are going to do 120. So 
So I guess we had uh, 10 in the discard, so that's pretty good. And we do get hit for the 60, so we will get knocked out this turn for an absurd amount of damage. And we see a Sneasel coming down. I think that's the one that allows you to pick up your tools, kind of like Masquerade used to be, the Plasma Blast Masquerade. And we'll see what our opponent has in store for us now. You see a Versus Seeker. Um, we'd love to see them play an N. <clears throat> but unfortunately they go for a Skyla. And they're going to grab a Devolution Spray with a Skyla. So they are going to be able to... Um, Pick up their evolution or their mega alakazam and then evolve. <sighs> hmm. I could evolve the one on the bench. I'm not sure what this really does for them. They could attack with suppression, I suppose. Uh, put three damage counters on each of our Pokemon that has energy attached, but that would only put damage counters on the active. Uh, th maybe they were thinking that the um, they still had abilities, but we do have Garbodor out, so. That is a nice advantage we have. Now, they do have a flip stone here, and they are going to suppression and knock out the active. So, we are still in an awkward situation now um, without being able to draw. So, we draw a Jirachi. Not going to be very helpful. Um, we probably are just going to have to send it to the active as fodder and uh, get knocked out as a sacrifice. So, we'll see, though. Um see what we can draw into in the next few turns but not looking like we're in a great uh, position at this point although Garbodor is doing some work oh yeah, actually what we're going to do is we're just going to leave Garbodor in the active and um, that way they can knock out Garbodor and then we'll be able to play Shaman um, I'd rather be able to draw into some cards than I would be able to uh, stop them from using abilities so we are going to see a Mega Alakazam come up. A Professor Sekamore out of our opponent. And they discarded an N, unfortunately. See a Max Elixir? Okay, it wasn't really... That's interesting. Uh, they are going to get an energy onto the Hoopa. Um, so that's... Let's see. We With weakness, they do 200 damage with the Zen Force. It's definitely a knockout. We we'll send up Vespaquin. We need to be able to get a knockout this turn. Or maybe not a knockout, but we need to be able to set something up for ourselves. Um, so we could play Shaman now, but we would only draw two. Um, let's see what else we have. Um, yeah, I think, I think we might just ha I don't know. Um, let's see. It's five, six... So, we don't have enough for a knockout. We can try and dig and see if we can get enough for a knockout. Um, okay, we'll use unknown. Or we'll hold on to it, but we'll, we have it. We know that we have it. And um, we're going to end our opponent down to three. And we unfortunately do not get an energy. Um, we could special charge first. And then we could unknown and hope to draw into an energy here. Uh, which is possible, I suppose. Uh, we just draw another Bridget, unfortunately, so we are going to probably just retreat into Tarachi this turn. Um, we could retreat into Shaman, but I think that that's too risky. Um, Tarachi, on the other hand, would, um, would survive, or uh, could even survive the turn with that resistance. Because they can pick up their because they can pick up their tools, they can kind of mess around, um, maybe get uh, another mega going. So uh, that's a, they would need um, quite a bit. I think they'd need two mega alakazams in order to um, knock out a shaman. So otherwise, they just do a hundred with Zen Force. We see a Lysander, so that means they're probably going to bring up Vespaquin, which is kind of our last viable attacker. And so 
Um, it also just puts them up really high in the prize trade, and I don't I don't think that there's much I can do. So I'm actually just gonna concede to my opponent here, um, seeing uh, that uh, just not in a good position, and uh, yeah, <laughs> my opponent's not really sure, but yeah, I, I'm like I like I said, I am out of attackers, um, and. I'm not going to be able to take knockouts on Mega Alkazam. And um, actually the loss of... Um, the loss of... Uh, we call it Mystery Energies from the Alkazam deck um, with the rotation actually actually hurts me because um, if they had Mystery Energies, there would be an opportunity for us to uh, play down or uh, use the Jirachi to discard them and uh, buy some time for us but unfortunately that was not the case we did not have the opportunity to do that and we are down a game um, in uh, we are down a game so let's see what we get going into game two here can we make a comeback uh, this is round one of the tournament and let's see uh, we lost a coin flip but we are going to be going first and let's see what happens here. Can we take down Mega Alakazam? Mega decks do present some somewhat of a difficulty for a deck like this that doesn't have huge damage output. But late game, we should be able to get uh, one-hit knockouts with our Vespaquen. Uh, we do start double Trubbish here, which is really great. Um, obviously, Garbodor is going to be big in this. So getting down Trubbish, getting down Float Stones... All that stuff is going to be really helpful um, in this matchup. And uh, we're not going to bench it because we are going first. We'll just wait to see what our opponent starts with. <clears throat> and it looks like they start with a Sneasel. So we will put down all of our basics. We'll touch an energy to Combi and we will Professor Sycamore. We do have to discard a Raiju there. Now we do get... Um, we got a decent hand here. We may have to Shaman uh, probably, possibly next turn. Um, for the moment, I'll just grab. Um, let's see what we've got. What we've got going here. Um, grab a Pikachu, and <clears throat> let's see. We'll level ball once again. Um, so we'll grab an unknown. Seems good at this point. We do need to draw into a supporter um, for next turn. Or a Versa Seeker. And there's a Versa Seeker, but the question is, I mean, it would be great to get the Skyfield, but I think we're going to have to grab a Versa Seeker. And this is good, though, because we are going to be able to push really hard um, trying to get a... Uh, to get our knockout with the Vespaquin, so... We are going to be able to draw into a double colorless for next turn as well, which is great. Uh, we could Ultra Ball again. Now we could get, uh, like, I don't know. We could get the Garbodor. We could get, like, okay, we're going to grab another Combi. Um, we do need to get a Garbodor next turn, but we don't have the Float Stone yet either. So we are just going to pass. Um, and I'm the main reason that I got the Combi is just because... Um, if for some, if somehow my opponent does manage to knock out the Combi this turn, uh, we need to be able to have a backup attacker, or we need to essentially be able to have something for the Vespaquin to evolve into. Now we know that they could use Suppression to put uh, 30 damage on the active Combi, but that would not be a knockout. So I think it would be fairly difficult for our opponent to take a knockout. <clears throat> I'm not really sure how they would even be able to do it. Now they attached to the Alakazam. We do see a, an Alakazam, a Mega, and a Shaman. And they're going to do Lysander up something. It looks like they're going to go after a Trubbish. And I'm fairly comfortable with that. I'd rather they... Um, I mean, we're hoping to get a Float Stone on it anyway, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, unfortunately, we do draw into a double colorless and we aren't going to be able to use the special charge to get the double colorless back but we are going to be um sycamoring this turn so kind of unfortunate there but we don't have an option 
and uh, we'll just have to attach one of them, and hopefully we will draw into our our um, second special charge at some point. So, um, yeah, but we'll just attach the double colorless. Could attach to Combi or Pikachu. We'll go for Combi. Uh, best plan is going to be probably the most helpful attacker. All right, so we don't have the Garbodor quite yet. <clears throat> uh, we could get the Garbodor, but we can't. We don't have a Float Stone yet. So we do want to try and dig for either... We want to dig for a Float Stone, basically. Uh, we're going to grab the Sycamore off of this. So we have a Supporter for next turn. And um, we could Shaman this turn to try and get the Garbodor. That would be one option. Um, we'll Farewell Letter first. And we get another Ultra Ball. <clears throat> which isn't great. We will uh, put out the Skyfield. And so now we can go for the Shaman. <coughs> Excuse me. It would be really helpful to get the Garbodor. So we're going to do whatever we can to get a Garbodor this turn um, with the Float Stone. We're going to set up for five. <clears throat> and wow, we do not draw it. Uh, we don't draw either part of it, unfortunately. We do just have the one double colorless, so we're going to not use the special charge yet this turn. And we do whiff the Garbodor, which is um, just kind of difficult to deal with. We see a Skyla come down and a Spirit Link out of our opponent. And we know they had the one Mega. They are going to put damage on the Trubbish, and where will the other damage go? It's going to go on to Vespaquin, which means that that's probably going to have to be our first attacker. <clears throat> See Devolution Spray, and do they have the Weavile? If they have the Weavile, they can um, use another um, Mega. This turn by moving the tool over to the other Alakazam. We do see a Shaman setup. We know that the card in their hand is the Mega. Let's see, did they either get um, another Spirit Link or did they get a Weavile? Looks like they're just going to end their turn with a Mega Evolution. They are going to put 30 on the other. Um, on the second Vespaquin, we do top deck a Garbodor, and we could put it on the active or the bench, I suppose. Uh, I think we'll just go for the active just because we have to float stone out of it anyway. <clears throat> and we're going to Sycamore this turn, so we're just going to use the um, special charge right now. Um, we could end, but I just, we really need to try and dig as deep as possible for this uh, float stone. Well, we actually are going to end, but um, playing the... We, we just played the... Um, oh man. We did not get the float stone yet. Uh, we'll farewell letter and hopefully find a float stone off of this. And we don't find it. Wow. Uh, this is rough. So, we're just... Wow. Um... That Lysander on the Trubbish wouldn't wouldn't have thought that that would be so powerful, but in this case it was really effective. We see a Psychic come down onto a Hoopa, and we're going to see another Mega this turn. We see a Versus Seeker for a Skyla, so our opponent could grab pretty much whatever they need here. Um, they're going to grab a Float Stone, which makes sense. And this is a little scary now, because they can, if they'd like, just start... <clears throat> sniping our bench Pokemon and making it really, really hard um, to do anything. Uh, we see 40 on the active and 20 on the bench. And we draw into another um, Raichu. And so I think we're just at this point going to need... I mean, we really need a float stone really, really bad. We could end, but our opponent's down to three cards. And uh, we really need something here, so we're just going to Sycamore, and do we get the Float Stone? We do finally get it. Um, and can we knock out the active? That's also relatively um, important question to ask. Um, we could 
we could evolve the benched um, Garbodor as well, which would be good. And um, right now we're only doing 120 with a Raichu. So um, we'll attach. Let's see. So uh, seven, eight, nine. Uh, so we're only, oh, wow. So we're doing um, we're doing 110 to the active with a Vespaquin, and we're doing. Um, we're just not doing enough damage, basically. Um, and that's that's a pretty difficult thing to deal with. Um, our Garbodor is probably going to get knocked out, which is a little bit frustrating. And I um, think I want to just take a... Not, or I want to put damage on the... Or um, use the Sky Return this turn. And that's mainly just for... <clears throat> it's for two reasons. One is just to get the... Um, Shaman off the board. <coughs> Excuse me. And the other reason is because we aren't going to get a knockout with anything, so we might as well uh, preserve an energy <coughs> um, and get that Shaman off the board. And that way we can send up um, just about whatever we want. We'll probably send up Garbodor because we know it's most likely going to get knocked out. And... You can send up really anything with free retreat, you know, it won't matter too much. We'll send up Raichu. But we know that Hoopa can take a knockout on Garbodor. So we'll see, does our opponent go for okay, so we actually see a bursting volume go on the bench. Which makes me think they're they're gonna try and go for they're going to try and switch into the Mega this turn. I'm not exactly sure um, why they would prefer that over just attacking um, with the Hoopa. Um, so we see an Ultra Ball getting rid of a Hoopa and a Hex Maniac. Um, not sure what they grabbed there. Uh, looks like they grabbed a Weavile. But they can't use the ability right now, so uh, they aren't going to be able to pick up a float stone or anything like that. So it is kind of <clears throat> strange that the bursting balloon came down. We do see um, a we see a parallel city. What do we want to get rid of? So we um, we can't really afford to get rid of Vespaquins, I don't believe, because that's just because of energy, for energy's sake. Um, we could get rid of a Combi, we could get rid of a Garbodor, but then they will have abilities for the turn. And that could be bad. Um, we could get rid of the other Garbodor, but then they'll knock out the first Garbodor, so uh, it's not really a great position. But uh, I think the safe discard is probably Combi. And the second one's a little bit tougher to side. Uh, man. I think I probably just get rid of the Garbodor at this point, cause just because of the fact that they have a full bench right now, so they wouldn't be able to put down a Shaman or anything like that. Um, we'll get yeah, we can get rid of the Garbodor with the Float Stone, and I'm not sure. Although that would allow them to retreat, so that's the downside of that. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's Definitely not an easy decision. Um, I'll have to discard the one with the float stone, so um, our opponent's going to have to discard their bench down as well. And they're going to get rid of the Hoopa and the two Shamans, which is not a surprise. And the question is, are they going to use the ability? No, they're just going to go straight for the hyperspace punch. So I was actually expecting them to try and retreat into the Mega Alakazam that turn. Although I don't know how they would do damage, really. Um, we do have a Combi and a Vespaquin in hand, uh, which is not, which just doesn't really matter to us, um, because we can't put it down, so we're probably just going to attack with a Vespaquin for a knockout this turn. I think that's our best option. Um, as much as it would be great to get, um, uh, our other Float Stone, I think what we want to do is just take the knockout and see what our opponent can do in response.
Uh, let's see what we got off the prize. We got a Pikachu. So we may have a Sycamore in our near future. Um, the next turn, so they'll take a knockout. Um, let's see here. So the Kinesis doesn't take a knockout on the active, thankfully. Where are they going to put the bench damage? Okay, they're putting on to Garbodor, actually. Which I, I'm fairly comfortable with. Let's see a Psychic go down, and they are going to take a knockout here. On the active, doing 220 damage. So now we can put down our Combi. And we'll send up the Raichu. So we can put down our Combi. It is, it is an uphill battle, though, for sure. That's definitely for sure at this point. Um, but we can put down the Combi this turn. Um, and, wow, okay, so I was trying to draw into something there. Um, and, yeah, obviously it didn't happen. <laughs> so, wow. Um... We are milled down to one card at this point, but uh, we do have an N, at least, so we will be able to attack with a Vespaquen. Um, the question is, can we sur can our Combi survive, or can our second Vespaquen survive, basically? And if our second Vespaquen can survive, um, then we have um, some options. So we're doing 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 170, or sorry, 160, um, and 180 once the Vespaquen gets knocked out. Um, all right, so we just get end into less cards, which is kind of interesting. Uh, we are going to see a Max Luxor fail and then an Energy Attachment. And we see a Retreat into the other Mega Alkazam. And... Alrighty, so this is intriguing. Um, we do need a Vespaquen and an Energy this turn, but will it be enough is the question. Um, man, um, will it be enough? Um, he thinks maybe he found the card I was looking for. Uh, yeah, not quite. Um, so, we could Shaman and set up for one. Hope to draw into one of the two pieces we need. Or we could just straight versus Seeker for an N. Uh, those are kind of the two options right now. But, we're definitely in, a, in not a good position right now. Um, definitely in a really really tough spot um, we could also hmm we could versus seeker Lysander get the uh, mega Alakazam and then set up and hope to draw into what we need that way we'd get a set up for two but still not great odds we would basically have to draw exactly the DC and the um, Vespaquen so yeah uh, Parallel City actually wrecking havoc <laughs> Uh, Parallel City definitely, um, definitely hurting us this game, and, um, yeah, playing down the Shaman, unfortunately, we do get a Vespaquin, so that's good, now, um, let's see, I think we just have to end this turn, but... Okay, so we, we do end up getting the double colorless, but unfortunately, we are down to one card in our deck. So, if we were able to take a knockout with Vespaquin, that would be one thing. But since we can't, um, I think it's just not going to be quite good enough. Um, and see um, how much damage we're doing. It's just, just a little shy, uh, 180. Um, not great, and 
We have to take prizes for our end to be worth more. That's the problem. And so since we can't take prizes, I just don't think it's going to work out. <clears throat> um, and yeah, I'm just letting my opponent know that I do have a DC and a Floatstone prized, which um, has been painful. I mean, because of that, we weren't able to find our Floatstone until very, very late for our Garbodor. So our opponent was able to get off... Um, couple uh, Mega Alakazam attacks, and um, so now we've been forced into this type of awkward situation. We are going to just Sky Return for 30, um, send up uh, either Raichu or Garbodor, doesn't really matter which one, and then they'll knock that out, <laughs> and then uh, we can attack with Vespaquin, but then of course we'll we won't have enough cards to end. So, uh, yeah, I, unfortunately I'm going to deck out. I'm I'm very, very close to, I mean, like, I'm like one or two cards. If I had like one or two cards left, I might be able to draw this thing out and actually win. It would be difficult, but uh, what I could basically do is if I had like one more turn, if I had two cards left in my deck, I could end this turn, <clears throat> take the knockout with the Vespaquin, um, or sorry, I could take the knockout with the Vespaquin and then end next turn, and I would uh, only draw three cards, and then my opponent would have to retaliate. If they couldn't knock me out, then I could not knock out with Vespaquin um, in two more turns, and just kind of blow through them with all my Vespaquin. But unfortunately, that's not going to work because if we play end this turn, we'll draw all five cards. And uh, so it's just not enough. <laughs> um, and so, unfortunately, it looks like we are going to lose in round one. Not off to a good start. But, uh, yeah, pretty unique deck out of my opponent. I was not expecting anyone to come in with uh, Mega Alakazam. Especially with Garbodor being, um, you know, being expected to kind of dominate. And uh, wouldn't think that there's much of an answer. For Garbodor for this deck, but uh, I mean, all these low HP Pokemon really um, <laughs> just made it really, really hard. Um, and so we do get the knockout here. It is going to end <laughs> end the game that way. But uh, and we get a Floatstone and a Pikachu. So uh, you can see if we were able to end next turn, and our opponent wasn't able to take a knockout on our Vespaquin this turn, uh, we would actually be in a fantastic spot. But yeah, I'm letting my opponent know, yeah, I was not expecting that. Um, and uh, and yeah, I hope my opponent can, can have success with this because um, it's possible it's just going to catch people off guard um, with this kind of, uh, with, the, with the Mega Alakazam deck. I mean, it seems like a lot of fun. I think the Hoopa is a really good call, and um, the Weavile is interesting as well. I'm not sure... Um, how it how you know how the deck does with um like people getting out of garbador earlier than i did you know if you play like three float stone and you can get out your garbador um think it would be a lot tougher just because the weavile is not helpful but uh yeah good luck to my opponent and uh we will see you in the next round hopefully we can uh do a little better next round and get ourselves back in this tournament thanks for watching